This is Chris and Kale's Top 5 Challenging Asheville Day Hikes. Yow! Oh, we crushed the gnarly hike. Good job! Woo! Holy cow! That is outstanding. Asheville is a city in Western North Carolina's Blue Ridge Mountains, known for its vibrant art scene, historic architecture, and laid back vibe. But it is the city's proximity to some of the Southeast's top demanding trails that makes this a tremendous home base for hikers. Who can blame a serious outdoorsman for concluding an aggressive hike by partaking in a locally brewed craft beer or an indulgent dining experience in the land of the sky. These are the top five challenging day hikes within 40 miles of Asheville, North Carolina. Number five, Graybeard Trail, Pisgah National Forest, North Carolina. When consumed in clouds with the summit exposed, this range gives the appearance of having a gray beard. This is one of Western North Carolina's preeminent 5,000 footers located near the town of Montreat. The summit is reached through a gradual but unrelenting trail that partially uses an old narrow gauge railroad path. It is the highest of the middle mountain peaks known locally as the Seven Sisters. Three quarters up the ascent is a spur to Walker Knob, a stop off that provides views possibly more impressive than the Greybeard Summit itself. But don't stop here, as you must reach the top to declare victory over the father of the Seven Sisters. <sighs> really? Yow! Wow! Back down the mountain. Number four, Black Balsam's Four Peaks. Great Balsam Mountains, North Carolina. The peaks of the Great Balsam Mountains include some of the most impressive mountain balls in the Southern Appalachians. The area offers a reasonable yet challenging day hike to four 6,000 foot summits. Black Balsam Knob, Tenant Mountain, Grassy Cove Top, and Sam Knob. It starts along the famed Art Lobe Trail where hikers can loop through the first three summits, a legendary trek with an alpine appearance and sweeping vistas. Balsam knob. Where's Black Balsam knob? These summits will remind you more of New England or the Sound of Music than the typical tree filled Carolina mountaintops. Tenant Mountain up ahead of us. Views 
are tremendous. Constant 360 degree views. Incredible. says the trail is closed due to a road. Back at the trailhead, Sam Knob can also be reached to experience even more sublime views. Number three, Mount Mitchell Trail, Pisgah National Forest, North Carolina. This epic trail to the highest peak in the Eastern United States is the stuff of hiking legend. Mount Mitchell is the fifth most isolated peak in all of North America, almost 1,200 miles from another peak its size. Mount Mitchell receives 75 inches of annual snowfall and can impart blistering winds at the summit. But with the potential for severe weather also comes the opportunity for dramatic views and a reason why Mount Mitchell is one of the first state parks in the country. Oh, wow. Don't be distracted by folks at the summit who have a brief walk from their car to the observation deck. Starting at the base of the mountain and climbing 3,700 feet of elevation is an epic experience that should place the Mount Mitchell Trail on any serious hiker's bucket list. Mighty Black Mountains. Yeah, I wasn't exactly sure where we come out of. The summit's up here, so we're almost there. Yeah, this is... We made it. We crushed the gnarly hike. You got Mount Craig. There's our state. Right over there. You can kind of see how this curves around. A couple hundred yards. Good news is it's all downhill coming back. We are headed back down. Six miles downhill. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this any better. There we go, but that's a big one. Last half mile. Good job. Woo. Back at the trailhead. Number two, Shining Rock via Old Butt Knob, Shining Rock Wilderness, North Carolina. The Shining Rock Wilderness is one of the first protected areas in the National Wilderness Preservation System and includes over 18,000 acres, making it the largest wilderness area in the state. It encompasses five mountains that rise above 6,000 feet, including Shining Rock itself. Holy cow. From the Shining Creek Trailhead, our trek mates up with the Old Butt Knob Trail, one of the steepest climbs in the southeast and the most difficult hike on this list. This is brutal. Thank God some flat parts. For those who choose to tackle this rigorous climb, however, spectacular panoramic views and diverse natural habitat await. This is Old Butt, and that's Old Butt Knob. We're back on the climb. Very overgrown. Thank you. 
there's also blackberries. All of a sudden, there's no tree coverage. The Shining Rock campsite. Last little stretch to the summit is a tight squeeze. This is a good vantage point here. Shining rock. You are truly up in the clouds here. The descent, the head back. Treacherous and tough going up. It is just damn right scary going down. Number one, Deep Gap Trail, AKA Black Mountain Crest, Mount Mitchell State Park, North Carolina. The Black Mountains of North Carolina are home to the highest peaks east of the Mississippi River. Across from the Granddaddy Mount Mitchell Summit is the Deep Gap Trail, a challenging hike that traverses the Black Mountain Crest Line and takes you across five spectacular peaks. The high elevation and prominence of the ridgeline can bring about severe weather, including winds up to 178 miles per hour. It also means that the mountaintops are quite colder than the surrounding towns, often kissing the clouds and limiting views. But when the conditions are right, the trees give way to a plethora of absolutely breathtaking lookouts and making this the top hike in the Asheville area. All right, here we are at Big Tom. We are here at Balsam Cone. So here we are at Cattail Peak. Wow, look at that. Here we are on Potato Hill. That is outstanding. Is. Trail comparison. Our top five hikes flank the eastern and western sides of Asheville and are all easily within an hour's drive of the mountain town. Although each trek is challenging, they have varying degrees of difficulty and different reasons that make it challenging. This chart rates four difficulty components as well as provides many other useful trail attributes. If you choose to tackle one of these beasts, Hopefully this will give you an idea of what you're getting into. Thanks for watching. We hope this gets you excited about getting out and exploring on your own. Click to the right to subscribe. Click to the left for more adventures.